They're off and racing. Feature race on day two, the Prince of Wales' stakes and early on, Miblish from uh, rousted Long Windsor Palace is in there to make the pace but has now found himself rather snookered behind the leader early on and Mukadram is going to cross over and cut out the early running. So Mukadram it is who leads from in second place at side glance who manoeuvres over from that outside gate. Miblish having jumped well is restrained to track the pace in third with al Kazim in fourth as they three lengths or so. al Kazim is first to pursue the leader with side glance. Camelot being wound up towards the outside passing the two. Mukadram and Paul Hannigan still have a break here. It's a good three to four lengths, al Kazim, Camelot, then Miblish Afzari, the few from a long way back, Mukadram nibbling away at the advantage, al Kazim, they're clear of Camelot, Mukadram still in front, al Kazim is edging closer all the way to the line, al Kazim drawing alongside Mukadram, al Kazim, Mukadram, no more to give, and al Kazim gets up to win the Prince of Wales. In. They race away one mile in front of them as they begin their journey. Knight of Thunder, white and red jacket against the running rail. First out, the dark green colors of Yufton goes alongside him. They're followed by the gray outstrip and the Godolphin blue. A length and a half behind them and holding a third position. And then comes Prince of All, two or more, and the light blue and orange, Ryan Moore. Horse is a little free and pulling Ryan's arms out as they, he runs around the outside of runners. Kingman, a pink cap for James Dorr, right at the back of the field with War Command and Joseph O'Brien into War Command. So around the home turn they come and it's Knight of Thunder in the white and red jacket continuing to lead to Yufton in second place. Then two or more. On the right is Kingman with a pink cap beginning to edge closer. Outstrip is next. War Command is still the back marker. Inside the last quarter mile. Knight of Thunder in front to Yufton still in second. Kingman now coming on the outside to deliver his challenge. Two or more is next. At the fell on pole, Knight of Thunder and Kingman, the big two fighting it out. Kingman now and James Dorn have shot through to the lead and he goes clear. Kingman has won it in great style, Knight of Thunder in second. And they're off and racing for the Kipco Champion Stakes. And early on, Noble Mission is encouraged into the lead. Kipco and Cyrus de Zegler from wider out. Christoph Sumion is pressing forward, just trying to get behind Al Kazim early on. Pethers Moon and Ruler of the World just trying to hold Cyrus de Zegler deep. Sheikh Zayed Road is off the back end. So as they prepare already to swing at the far end of the race course, Noble Mission leads by a length from Al Kazim. Cyrus de Zegler has a little bit of cover on the outside with Ruler of the World in third place. Just ahead of Cirrus de Zegler, then Pethers Moon on the rails is Free Eagle early on, ahead of Western Him, then Arad and Sheikh Zayed Road is at the rear of the field. So they're already swinging uh, right-handed. Three furlongs behind them, Noble Mission stretching on out in front from Ruler of the World to dispute second place with Al Kazim. Cirrus de Zegler still held three wide with Free Eagle up the rails and between the pair Pethers Moon. Arad comes next alongside Western Him as they pass the six with Sheikh Zayed Road at the tail of the field. So it's Noble Mission leading by just over a length or so from Ruler of the World and then in third place on the outside Al Kazim. Cyrus de Zegler making a little bit of ground but is still wide on the track from Pethers Moon then Free Eagle. Behind these Western Him then Arad and Sheikh Zayed Road. Noble Mission still racing exuberantly on the front end as they enter the final half mile. Al Kazim and Ruler of the World poised. Cyrus de Zegler circles them. Free Eagle on the rails with Pethers Moon. Western Him tries to improve. Noble Mission bidding to emulate Frankel passes the three out in front ruler of the world is pushed along Al Kazim traveling really strongly Cyrus de Zegler under quite a bit of pressure Petters Moon's path was blocked then free eagle it is out in front noble mission with Al Kazim hunting down the leader Cyrus de Zegler is paddling back in the field free eagle trying to get organized and launch a challenge at the front pair noble mission on the far side Al Kazim on the near side free eagle he's trying to breach the gap has three lengths to find noble mission Digging in, Al Kazim drawing alongside, head for head, the champion stakes in the balance. Noble Mission clinging on narrowly. Noble Mission from Al Kazim all out. Noble Mission, Noble Mission has won the champion stakes. A punch of the air. Two links on the field, heading to the final furlong. Here comes Order of St. George, gaining quickly on the outside. Big Orange from Order of St. George. Big Orange, can he find a little bit more juice out in front? Ostropovich, Salouen, Chris Lotion though is drawing closer in third place, travelling well. In behind these is Coronet in fourth. Poets Word now 
is urged to improve and making headway from Hydrangea and then at the back Desert Encounter, Rostropovich, Saluen, Crystal Ocean lays down a big challenge and now hits the front very quickly indeed and Crystal Ocean begins to open up, chased now by Stable Companion, Poets Word but Crystal Ocean is going to take some pegging back, they head to the final furlong, Poets Word is getting on terms, Crystal Ocean on the far side, Poets Word on the near side, they're practically together now, they fight tooth and nail up to the line and Poets Word is edging ahead and won it, Poets Word won the King George. The Diamond Jubilee and they're away bound for nowhere on the extreme far side from stall one but catchy like a bullet from a gun leads by three lengths through the first furlong bound for nowhere projection yafta chasing hard is emblazoned blue point in the all blue colors in the center invincible army in the white red sash speak in colors one of the grays red and yellow jacket tip to win is outpaced at the back of the field the tin man is towards the rear as well with lubra veto and dream of dreams and now He's moving up to challenge catchy Blue Point joining Catchy. Invincible Army, Dream of Dreams, speaking colours. He says go on Blue Point. Blue Point strikes the front again. A Royal Ascot from Catchy. Dream of Dreams is coming home well then, speaking colours. Blue Point all out. Dream of Dreams is thrusting. Blue Point near side. Blue Point. Blue Point. The Princess is showing speed and Campanelle as well as Home Affairs towards the centre of the picture. Near side, Campanelle leading Emirati and a Highfield Princess and Home Affairs is blazing a trail on the near side under James McDonald in the dark blue. Followed by Naval Crown Dragon symbol Kingslin, Gustavus Weston, Garrus back in that group. On the far side, the extreme left is Minzal, followed by Grenadier Guards with Alcohol Free in behind with Path to Freedom. And also Diligent Harry Sacred is towards the back. Artorius will need to pass everything and Creative Force also with plenty to do. They've come past halfway, running down towards the two. On the near side, it is still Home Affairs that heads this group. On the far side, Grenadier Garth is making quite good headway. Highfield Princess in there. Campanella is being driven along. Double or bubble. They're struggling a little bit on the near side. Over on the far side, Minzal is finishing pretty well with creative force as well. Campanella in the centre. Double or bubble. Highfield Princess, the near side. Naval Crown on the rail. Creative force, the far side. Artorius is staying on powerfully. And the centre, creative force, the near side. Naval Crown tight. Tight between the...